Growing up, I never thought that one day I'd have to prove I wasn't a robot. The 32? What? Is that an I or an R? I'm not a robot. But as anyone who's ever shopped online knows, that happens almost every day. Chances are you've experienced a CAPTCHA. It stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. A CAPTCHA can be any kind of simple test, but it's most frequently seen online as those annoying squiggly letters you get when you sign up for email accounts. The idea is to ensure that it's a person, not a computer program, that's signing up for those accounts or buying tickets. Louise Von Ahn was one of the Carnegie Mellon computer scientists who invented the CAPTCHA. Great for internet security, bad for productivity, as he explains in this TED Talk. Humanity as a whole is wasting about 500,000 hours every day typing these annoying CAPTCHAs. <laughs> so then I started feeling bad. So On figured out a way to use CAPTCHAs for good. You may not know, but when you're filling out that annoying form, you're actually helping to digitize a book. The number of words that we're digitizing per day is really, really large. It's about 100 million a day, which is the equivalent of about two and a half million books a year. And this is all being done one word at a time by just people typing CAPTCHAs on the internet. Solve Media uses CAPTCHAs for profit, turning them into ads. Take out those scribbled letters and numbers and replace them with relevant brand messages that are easier to handle. Ticketmaster just dumped their squiggly letters in favor of easier to read phrases from Solve. You should be seeing those options on the site now. With Solve, you still have to prove you're not a robot. It's just somebody has figured out a way to make money off of that interaction. And that impulse is 100% 